Plans for a more open and competitive domestic EU railway network was given the green light after MEPs and negotiators from the council shook hands on a deal on the final pillar of the fourth railway package. It was tough. The council didn't want social obligations for the member states. Second item was under which circumstances the contract for the new uh, railway package can be awarded directly. So no public procurement, but direct award of the uh, new railway contract. Negotiations to improve Europe's railway network have been labouring on for four years. One of the biggest headaches has been how to change the way in which public service contracts were awarded. Under the deal, competitive bidding will now allow new operators onto the market, thereby breaking up old monopolies, but with an exception. Smaller member states will still be able to award direct contracts. Also on the table, preventing conflict of interest between rail operators and infrastructure managers, better safeguards of train worker rights, and better access for high-speed rail. And for the consumer... They will have more possibilities of choice. Come sempre, quando si apre il mercato, avranno possibilità di scegliere servizi, di scegliere modalità di, di viaggio, avranno la possibilità, quindi le compagnie, di proporre offerte diverse. But changes won't take effect till 2033 at the earliest, as member states won the battle to have long transition periods for the rules to take effect.